Hi everyone and welcome back. You know, in our Christian life, it's very easy to sometimes be weary, become tired and draw back from where we should be. And unfortunately, we find ourselves or put ourselves in a place of vulnerability. You know, the Bible says the devil is like a roaring lion, seeking those whom he may devour. And we need to be careful that we don't allow our weariness and our involvement in the day-to-day -day things of life to put us in a place where we somehow draw back from what God has for our life. You know, there's an interesting scripture in 2 Samuel chapter 11, where it speaks of King David. And it says there that when all the kings went out to battle, David stayed behind in Jerusalem. For whatever the reason, maybe he was tired, maybe he was just over the battle and I've done enough fighting and I'm going to let somebody else do it. I'm just going to stay here and rest a while. I'm going to take time out. What happened was one evening he was on the parapet of the castle. He saw a woman that was bathing. Her name was Bathsheba. He ended up sleeping with her. She gave birth to his son. And in the process, David, realizing what, what had happened, orchestrated for her husband to be killed in battle so he could have her as his wife. It was a terrible situation and something that God had to confront David about later on. And if you read the book of Psalms where David writes of his life during that period, you read how he would be on his pillow at night. He was in tears. He was in such bad state simply because he drew back from the battle. You know, Paul the Apostle says in Ephesians chapter 6 that having done all, we need to stand. And you know, in those days, uh, when the two wrestlers got into the ring, the whole idea of wrestling, very different to what we perhaps know today, but the whole idea of wrestling was that they had to force their opponent out of the ring. That would bring the victory. And the moment the opponent was out of place, he was defeated. And it's the same for us. The enemy will do everything he can to draw us out of where we should be. You and I were called to walk by faith. You and I were called to stand in the grace of God. You and I were called to take up our cross, deny ourselves and to follow Jesus. That's where we need to be. Let's not be foolish. Let's not draw back, but let's stay in that place where God has access to our hearts for there we will grow and change and become like Him. God bless you.